The truth of the infamous bar between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Du Bois has been revealed by the former in the build up to their upcoming Wembley Stadium bout on the 21st of September. In 2016, the pair had a highly publicized sparring session. And over the years, it has been alleged that Joshua, a two time unified heavyweight champion, was nearly knocked out by Du Bois, who was just 18 years old at that point. Given the upcoming fight, it is no surprise that this story again dominates the conversation. Former professional boxer Anthony Fowler claimed he witnessed the spar, stating, they were just sparring normally. Du Bois was really young. So he wasn't really trying to win the rounds. He was very cagey, sparring Joshua. Obviously, Joshua was the main man on the team. So he was always quite wary, but he was always punched really hard. Du Bois could have hit him again and put him to sleep. But Du Bois had a bit too much respect for him to finish him off. Fowler revealed that the then champion, Joshua, tried to fight the then 18 year old Du Bois, but was told to take a break by his trainer. Stating, obviously, everyone was standing there like wow, and Joshua went and jogged around the ring because his legs were like jelly. And he was trying to get his legs back. And everyone was going wait, wait, wait. Joshua wanted to carry on. But Rob McCracken was like, have a little break, get your legs back to normal, and then spar, and then they continued sparring. He didn't knock him out, he didn't hit the floor, but he was really, really hurt. Most recently, one of the men involved finally chose to tell their side of the story. In an interview with Sky Sports, AJ recalled the incident, saying, he just cracked me with a good shot. I stood on my feet. I don't know where this whole narrative of someone turning my lights off came from. There were a lot of people in the gym that day as well. And people have come out and said, nah, nothing, happened. But anyway, people say what they say. Joshua and Du Bois enter this bout at the peak of their respective career resurgences. Du Bois has recovered from a discouraging display against Oleksandr Yusik with back-to-back -back stoppage wins over Gerald Miller and Philip Hergovic respectively. The 26-year-old is now on a mission to become the new face of the British heavyweight boxing scene. Stating, AJ's been the king for a long time and on the night, I need to become a king slayer. And that's my goal. That's the mission at hand. I'm learning more about myself as a fighter, as a person. Coming out of the darkness and into the light, improving all around as a fighter and an athlete. I'm up for this and ready to go. Meanwhile, AJ comes into the fight with four straight wins, including a brutal KO of former UFC champion Francis Ngannou. When asked about Du Bois potentially dethroning him, Joshua had this to say, I'm not saying that he has the chance to do it on September 21st because what you speak is sometimes what comes into existence. But I won't let it happen. It'll show you how good I am. Whether it's in the ring sparring or whether it's in the ring fighting. I won't let anyone manhandle me or try to knock me out. No way. Joshua and Du Bois will finally settle. The score once and for all as they face off on the 21st of September inside the iconic Wembley Stadium.